Waar is die? Zie je live, de live nu? Ja? Oké, 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 het is back. Ik moet het vinden. Oké, okay, no worries. Ja, dank je. Ja, ik doe het still don't have it. But as long as I'm online, I will find the chat in the internet. Oh, yeah. Ça vous concerne, ça nous concerne tous, rejoignez-nous. Yeah, I've got it. Yeah. Is it still uh, is it still not good, Barry? He says it's a running circle. This is live, no? So Lebac is taking their uh, headgear off also. And the cops on the other side uh, also. Oh, thank fuck I'm live again. Okay, thank you. The battery was uh, empty. The battery was empty, so uh, yeah. It's a little bit difficult for me to charge uh, anyway, and now I've been fucking up this also by not good co connecting it good. So uh, let me check how much the still is. Check this now. This was mine or yours? This is yours. This is, oh yeah, then I need to look at it on the side. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 66, wow. Yeah, yeah, so it's not plug. been plugged. Yeah, yeah. Now they're both charging. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. We're good, we're good. Oof. Luckily nothing happened because I would have beaten my own ass. <laughs> have you seen Fight Club? That is what I would have done to myself for the office scene. <laughs> <laughs> if I missed something now. like cops are just waiting well these people are not going to be violent that's for sure and the march is allowed yesterday showed very bad no are Chinese or where they are from else I would go Hong Kong, Hong Kong. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, yeah, I just uh, mentioned this. But like uh, 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago, she removed the thing also. Yeah. So she got the order to stand back for sure, else she doesn't take this off, she loves that thing. I know. 
But I think it's also funny that today there is the maybe they want to prove that the woman and the woman beater are not violent. Because they are both here today, what the fuck? They're already, you couldn't, you couldn't, huh? They're already Yeah, 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 I know, I was there. <laughs> I tasted it. <laughs> oh yeah, you got the full blow, right? Ah, uh, not full. Not so as bad as with the... Uh, I was in the corner, so I didn't get the full... Charlie and the other one? It's a shit, huh? Yesterday there were cops in these windows also, but yeah, but I don't see any now. Just checking the rooftops and the windows, because yesterday there were uh, cops in these, in, in, in these windows. It's life, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, you're on camera. <laughs> Qu'est-ce que Steve? You speak uh, English? Yeah. Or mm -hmm. Dutch? Oh, okay. Nederlander. Yeah. We hebben een Nederlander hier. Wie is Steve? Steve is een gast, had hadden hier uh, maand geleden een feest. Ja. Yeah. Uh, Dreef. Yeah. Ken je wel? Ben je wel eens geweest? Ja. Yeah. Oké. Okay. Ik zou om vier uur moeten stoppen. Om half vijf is de politie midden in de nacht binnengevallen, zwaar verkast. Ik weet niet of je wel eens video's hebt gezien van Frankrijk, ja, op zaterdag. Ja, alleen voor de dingen. Ja, ja. Dat, maar dan nog zo erg hebben ze dat midden in de nacht gedaan op een feest. Er is een groep jongeren is de Loire het water in gesprongen. En een daarvan die is nooit naar boven gekomen en die is verzoken. Dat is die, ja. En dat betekent dus eigenlijk dat je hier... Kijk, ik ben niet voor de protesten dat er zoveel geweld gebruikt wordt. De politie gebruikt echt veel geweld. Hè? Ik ben hier al vanaf begin maart dat aan het filmen. Hoe vreedzaam deze mensen zijn en hoe gewelddadig de politie is. Ik heb honderden uren videomateriaal daarvan. Op een feestje dat doen, dat is alle dagen... Kijk, dit is een apart iets. Een protest is een apart iets. Maar een feestje, dat is iets wat iedereen in zijn dagelijkse leven doet. Snap je? Dat dus kan mij ook gebeuren. Kan jou ook gebeuren hier in Frankrijk. En dit is waarom dat het, uh, mensen nu hier zijn. Je ziet nu ook niet veel gele hesjes. Terwijl hier zitten wel echt heel veel mensen van de gele hesjes uit de loes bij. Maar ze hebben die expres uitgelaten, want dat gaat iedereen aan. Snap je? Ja, je kunt, als je gaat feesten hier in Frankrijk kun je gewoon dood blijven. Waar is dat hier gele ik ben een beetje van land. Ik ben zelf geen geel hesje, hè? Ik ben vers. Of ja, ik film de politie wel. Ik film de politie. De geel hesjes hier in Frankrijk staan gewoon voor... Ze willen gewoon beter, een betere leefomstandigheden. De, de lonen zijn heel laag. Uh, Macron, dat is uh, de Rutte van Frankrijk, die wil uh, dat de mensen langer gaan werken voor minder geld. Uh, ja, en daar zijn hun tegen. Dus er komen steeds meer mensen op straat leven. Heb je hier de stad gelopen? Ja, ik ben precies wel geweest. Heb je de tenten gezien overal ja, in de stad? Ja, dat, kan, ja, dat is iets van het laatste jaar. Ja? ja. En dat zie je door heel Frankrijk nou. En je ziet dan babytjes. Ja, ik zie het ook. Ik zie het Snap je? En dat is waar deze mensen iedere zaterdag de straat voor gaan. Maar we konden wij er iets aan te doen. Ja, als de politie begint te schieten, maak je het je weg van, want het gaat is echt naar. Ja, ja. Ai, ai. Dat was een Nederlander. Dat was een Dutch guy. Uh, Tijmen, die jongen, was even kort in beeld en die kwam daarna heel duidelijk naast me staan uit beeld. Dus dan ga ik hem niet extra filmen. Dat is ook niet nodig. Yeah, Igor, uh, my battery was finished. I didn't plug it right, so yeah. Luckily, nothing happened. So police on both sides. So Lebak and uh, the the crew of the woman beater and the crew of the woman both took their uh, helmets and everything off. So I don't think they will attack when they've got their helmets off.
Hello Sue, very welcome. Steam win, why are you lost? Damon, ja ik ben ook een rare sneuter. Ik weet niet of je gezien hebt hoe ik eruit zie en hoe ik ben. Ik ben een hele rare sleuter. Dus, uh... Ja, yeah, Igor, I hope so. Before they already gassed her. Steam when yeah, I don't understand French either. And I hear I heard by his accent that he was uh, Dutch. <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> you smell like cheese. I can make this joke. I'm Dutch too. <laughs> Here are even less cops on this side. Yeah, on, on this side the cops are less. <laughs> A dom, Koda, very cheese country, eh? cheese heads. And yeah, the buck is still fully there, but here is less, some of these left. for a couple of days for a fucking month and they didn't even look for him I think like a few days ago they started looking for him huh? something like this no information whatsoever about the search no and the, the strange thing is I've seen pictures but I haven't seen it verified this is a little bit of a problem so uh, under uh, uh, under voorbehoud how do you say this in English I'm not 100% sure it is true but they found him upstream so they found him like around the corner and upstream and this cannot be. So where, from where he supposedly went into the waters, around the corner and then upstream. Can't be. Just If this uh, little graphic is true, yeah, that's it. Did you see the, the graphic? Yeah. So there's something really strange going on with that one. Of course it's cops, so they, they know how evidence works, so they can't calculate it right. <laughs> where, in the, where do we put them in the water? No, I can't say that because it's not sure. These things I'm saying now are not sure. Yeah, unofficial. I didn't get it, I didn't see it from anything official indeed, I just saw the graphic passing, so... Hello Diane. Yeah, of course they're not covering it. It's not news when somebody dies at a party. Uh, by police, is it? Is it? <laughs> Doesn't concern you, does it? It's not interesting uh, enough to be news. I don't know why it's not being covered. In France it is, by the way. Eh? It is in, in mass media, blah, blah, blah. They have to. Because the... Oh, that's strange, Diane, because I went live twice even, sorry. I was supposed to do the interview with Charlie today at 7 o'clock. But we moved this to Friday, because there was so much violence yesterday at the Capitol, here. Yesterday here, the people were pretty much uh, beaten, gassed again. Uh, Charlie got beaten himself pretty hard, he's got a video of this. 
for the interview, you need to ask Charlie for this video of them. Do you remember it or? Um, yeah, Charlie has a good video of it, of it. So I just arranged that we get this video so you can see it uh, with the interview Friday night. Uh, how we got beaten. Yeah, it was absolutely fucking... And these people are doing nothing. Eh? Even when they're up close and personal, in their face, they still do nothing. They don't attack, they don't throw, they're not violent. I mean, I so respect these people eh? because even today, it, it's taking me a lot to stay calm. And when I say it's taking me a lot, people that know me personally understand this. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why that is, Diane. I'm really sorry. So I, I think it's a YouTube uh, thing. Yeah, Sue, and usually Tim Truth uh, covers this shit also. So. No problem, thank you very much. Very welcome. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> There's 12 police left on this side. There were like, I counted them before, uh, like 18 or 20, I think, something like this. Alec Buck is still here on this side. Also just standing around. But still there, yeah. Oh, thank you, Diane. <laughs> That's really sweet. Thank you. Sue Harrison, these people will keep going. They will not stop. I am really sure of this. So, yes, Saturday there will be another act. Up to 38, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I don't know. But it wouldn't surprise me one bit if it's about uh, Steve... <clears throat> Uh, because these people are calling for justice and they should they should uh, they should be it's impossible that police can do this to people it's just I cannot get my head around it or a copper red helmet is coming back Talking to the policewoman. Yeah, they're passing on information. So it seems, uh, so it seems, they're not close enough to, but now the police woman is shaking hands. So they quit and they go or what?
Oh, she's welcoming more people. So either, either they quit now and they go, this is why they she can't say thank you, or they're from a different crew and more people are coming. Most of the people have left. Uh, there are still a lot of people here, but a lot of people have left also. Looks like the woman left. What time is it? Did her shift end? It's four or past eight. I don't know the French uh, police shifts. <laughs> I do know them in Spain. <laughs> I don't know the French uh, timing. Yeah, uh, family, uh, <laughs> I mean, they found him when his body was in a, a far state of uh, de 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 how do you say this? De decomposition? No, how do you say this? Uh, so they can't tell how he died, of course. You know, there's no way of saying how he died. So, yeah, for sure, it took this long for a reason. Curious what that will be, Sue, but I'm not about politics, eh? I'm anti politics. I don't uh, get bothered with politics, I don't believe in it, I don't think we need it, so. Yeah, Diane, that's what I keep telling everybody, that's what I just asked the Dutch boy also. Do you ever go to a party? Do you ever go to a rave? I've been to legal and illegal parties. Bonjour! Are you good? Yes, I Very good, thank you. Um, yeah, so this can be anybody who ever went to a party or ever wants to go to a party. You can die. It's France. Oh, I think the undercover cop car is here. No, it's not. Labak is all staring at this. He. Labak is waiting for it. But they are sitting, like, hanging against the poles and shit like this, so. And here it looks like the woman left. Yeah, the, the, the woman has left. Maybe she went somewhere else, I don't know. Maybe she's coming back. The cop is still holding the gas gun, so, yeah. But they don't have any protection. They don't have their helmets on. They put down the shields. They're leaning against the wall. Decomposition, yes. Yeah, Igo, we will see on the internet it said this would be until 12.30, so uh, we'll see what happens now. Barry, go, go, go. I knew something was up like this. Thank you very much. <laughs> I thought it was a little bit strange what was happening. The woman Peter is still here though. And the buck also. And there's a little, uh, little Robin is next to him.
and on this side is only eight cops left and it were like 18 or 20 when I counted them before. Thank you for that one, Barry. Igor, it wasn't even an illegal rave, it was a legal rave. It's a music night, it is every year, it's the 24th of June, every year this is a big fucking party night. They had a, a license to party until 4 o'clock and the police attacked at 4.30. At 4.36 they got an order to stop gassing and beating and stop the violence. And the videos are from after 4.40, 4.50. So, says it all, doesn't it? Diane, yeah, Charlie's leg hurt. Uh, he was here before. I don't think he's still here now. I don't see him. Let me have a quick look. But he's walking with a stick because his uh, leg really hurts after yesterday. <coughs> yeah, family here in France, they do. I've, I've, I've experienced it myself and I've seen it a few times. A few times too many. Most of the people have left. <laughs> yes, France wants to set the standards, but we are, well, I am actively fighting this, fighting this without my fists. So there is people working so that France can't get away with this. What they are doing to the people, if uh, it can be stopped in France, the other countries immediately know that this is not an option. And then two things can happen, either they will try it, uh, to see if people will start filing complaints against them or they take it as a warning and they leave it, uh, leave it as is. So these are the two options. It's 2022, so if they have their shift change at 8 o'clock, new ones should be coming soon. Uh, Diane, I really, today was not, I'm usually, I said this before also, I'm usually really happy and, and, and cheerful and, uh, you know, in a good mood on the protest day. But today is different. Uh, somebody died, somebody that could have been anybody. <laughs> not somebody in a protest, not somebody doing something out of the ordinary. The protests are something out of the ordinary, but somebody that was living everyday life the way we all do it. And they died, you know. And I used to go a lot, I used to go party a lot, <laughs> like really a lot, to legal raves, to illegal raves, uh, I was out there, you know, uh, three days a week, blah, blah, blah. And I still do sometimes, you know, uh, this winter I go back to Spain, if I go back to Spain for sure I'll catch one or two parties. I mean, really, is that a ground to fucking kill me? Who should I join for five minutes, Igor? Hello, a realization. Can we see the signs? You mean the one on the ground? So they put yesterday they stole two banners. 
So they made a really big one, and they made it uh, uh, at Changeras. So this is the... They put candles on it. I'll walk to the other side also, sorry. So they made it so they couldn't, yeah, they, of course they, the police can steal this also, but they made it fucking huge. And at Jean Joris, this is on the floor now also. Because they sprayed it then and there. Yeah, they're all holding up uh, Justice Poor Steve, Blood, Sweat and Tears. I like it because I have this tattoo. Blood, Sweat and Tears. Yeah, and this is the people. Let me have a look. Most on the side are, yeah, protesters also. All protesters, Odile is here, all familiar faces that I see on Saturdays. There's press here, different types of press. The guy I was speaking before to be speaking to before was on holiday. Police is having a talk there, they're like an overlap. Well, Tim Buck, I think you have more illegal parties in the U.S. as well. I mean, the U.S. is big, huh? He's waving like go, the woman beater. Let me see what happens there. No, the buck is not moving. Cops are, yeah, Lebac is going away also. Am I seeing this right? Yeah, Lebac is moving. And the woman beater is also moving. Yeah, the police on this side is moving. <laughs> Sorry, this makes me smile. Fuck off. Well, I fight for all countries <laughs> because I live on the road. I don't call one country my home. I do live in Europe. So it's only the cops on this side left. Le Buck is gone, this is a relief, because when Le Buck is gone, that means uh, there is less shit. And it's just these left, and this is uh, eight cops. That's it. Uh, I'm it's a good thing that uh, the woman and the woman beater are gone. It's good that Labak is gone. That means the chance of violence is very slim. And also the, there's not much people left there. Barry, I don't like any system. 
I haven't found a system. I'm thinking of a system. <laughs> I'm trying to make one up. But uh, there, at the moment, there is not one system active that I agree with. And these cops are not going to do anything. They're, they're even sitting on the floor. <laughs> the cop is sitting on the floor. This should also not be. I mean, come on. If you have this function or he feels bad, this is optional also. They're smoking. They're all good. French Human Rights Watch is leaving, or they're checking if uh, Lebac is gone. <laughs> I'm surprised because yesterday there was quite a lot of violence. And don't get me wrong, we had some gassing today already. Also, yeah, the cops have left. Thank you. Oh, and now the woman beater is on this side. Oh, 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 I was cheering too early. They're shaking hands. So I think they shake hands for a good... Uh, good teamwork, no? Eleven now, so there were eight, so three have joined them. Yeah, the woman beaters, they are laughing. I mean, why? They were shaking hands also. I want to see what's in this street because cops keep coming from there. Look, they're shaking hands. Usually they shake hands at the beginning of the protest or at the end. One fan, one car, looks like an undercover car. Well, the fact that the buck moved says something, you know, because usually they are there to make the arrest, to do the beatings. I'm not against Nazis, uh, Steam Wen. I don't do politics and I don't play the divide and conquer game, so <coughs> I won't be shouting that. I have Nazi friends, I have hippie friends. I don't do that shit. So, yeah. If you want that to be shouted, get your ass over here and shout it. <laughs> I have to say that a lot of the people shouted uh, a lot of times to them. Uh, but I don't play that game, sorry. Oh, 
I smell chips. No, and the cops just standing there waiting, not doing anything. And apparently there's a difference between a protest and a march, but I think yesterday that it was a march also. It wasn't a protest. Yeah, they're shaking hands again. <laughs> Probably. No, I think it's because they don't usually work together. <clears throat> I've seen this uh, on Saturdays also because um, on Saturdays the, it's the CRS that circulates throughout the whole country. So the CRS groups circulate throughout the whole country. Um, the rest are local. Labak is local. Uh, the Police Nationale that is active is local. Uh, the gendarmerie is from the area, also they take them from the villages and shit like that. Uh, CRS circulates through the whole country, so you don't have the same group of CRS in the same city every week. And I've seen them shaking hands like this also. Uh, yeah, probably to welcome them into the city, you know, something like this. Most people have left there. There's a few people, a uh, few people left here. Not many. Street by the express. A lot of people that have nothing to do with it also. Still not leaving right away. Yeah, family, I've been watching this shit. I mean, since the beginning of March, I've been watching the police. Their behavior, the way they work, fucking everything they do. So, yeah. This is also what I would love, is if we start all watching, um, because I think it's certain CRS groups that are violent. Because the violence... Um, changes in the cities. In the beginning there was violence everywhere, but there came a point where in some cities it would be peaceful on Saturday and in other cities there would be violence and this would change. So my idea is that uh, there is a specific CRS group that is really violent and that uh, when they are in the city um, there's going to be a lot of violence that day. 
I haven't figured out which numbers they are. The, the regions here have numbers. So I haven't figured out uh, which regions they are and if this uh, theory is true. But I am watching videos for this and other people are watching it also to see if we can find uh, uh, when there is a lot of violence which uh, CRS groups are active and if this is always the same groups. This is what we are, uh, yeah. Because I really suspect this. I mean, like here there was uh, uh, two guys that I recognize that are violent on Saturday. I don't think they are CRS, they are just police national. Um, but I do recognize some of them. Of the region number. So 3100 uh, uh, 3, is Toulouse. Uh, and every region has a number. It's like uh, the postal codes also, yes, because uh, you have... Uh, a postal code 31120. This is a village close to Toulouse. So, yeah. If you, t if you uh, uh, Google region numbers, then uh, uh, you see the, the map with the numbers uh, of France, of regions. Yes, department numbers, yes, thank you, buddy. This is it. Yeah, Le Buc stays local, at least here in Toulouse. I know Le Buc from Toulouse, I know, yeah, I know them. Uh, I know their faces, I know their eyes, the ones that cover up their faces, I know their eyes, and it's every week it's the same. Yeah, and I think if uh, it's been quiet the last few weeks in France, don't get me wrong, there was still violence, but less than the months before, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, I have been watching it, but I'm waiting for more violent videos from other cities to see if I can see the numbers, because a lot of times they have the numbers on their helmet. Uh, yeah, the department numbers, yeah, they have them on their helmet a lot of times. aren't even watching they're just here they're not doing anything Yeah, but they really move through the whole country because, um, who told me this? Number 18 or 19, I thought, we spotted last week or the week before, I'm not sure. And this was a group from up north. Like I said, I'm waiting for the videos. If there's violent videos, then watch the CRS, watch what numbers they have then maybe we can figure this shit out if this theory is true or not and that would make a difference because if this go to uh, if the ICC investigates this uh, these groups have a boss no so this boss allows them to be violent um, yeah 
and it's all going to drip down. So the ICC is going to press charges against Macron and Castaner, at least this is what we hope. Uh, and from that there on it goes and it will drip down. The, the, um, yeah, how do you say this? The actions they will take to stop this and the people that will get punished for this. So if we can figure this out, I think it does matter. Yeah, I know family. But it's also a choice, eh? because the boss can say you can use more violence, but it is the person that decides to uh, use the stick. You understand? It's the person that decides when they hit, uh, how they gas. Do they throw it at the people's faces? Do they throw it on the floor? I mean, I've been hit with the gas grenades a few times already, yeah? It's also a decision what they confiscate. One copper confiscates all my gear, the other one doesn't. Helicopter. <laughs> but it's moving away. Uh, yeah. So, uh, to me, it's the cop that decides if he uses the violence and in what way he uses the violence. It's the person. It's not the order. The order says they can. It's the person that decides if they will. And I see it, man. I see it in their fucking eyes. I see the ones that like it. I see the ones that want to go for it. I know this fucking feeling. I know what it's like to be ready to kick some ass. It takes one to know one, right? Yeah, the chiefs hold the leash, but it's still the person that decides to hit the stick. And what way, you know? That's not the chief that says, hit now. No, that's not how it goes. The chief says you can use more violence, and then it's uh, each couple for their own what de who decides what is more violent. When they hit, when they gas, when they shoot at people directly. They're not allowed to do that. I had the fucking uh, LBD gun pointing at my face too. I mean, other people were screaming at me to move. Uh, and that's the, the person that is looking through the glass that decides if he's going to aim at my face or if he's going to point it up or at my stomach or at my legs. I mean, they didn't shoot. I refused to move also. So that's not the, the boss ordering shoot for her face. And he was aiming for my face. I mean, we were looking each other in the eye, so... Definitely, Igor. And this is a fact too, Barry. The more face covering, the more violent. I keep, I keep telling them also, you know, or asking them, like, it's, it's a coincidence, no? That the ones covering their faces are also the ones that use the most, vi most violence. And I also ask them, why would you hide your face if what you do is lawful? Why would you hide your face if what you do is lawful? Explain this to me. I don't get it. You know, I'm used to hiding my face when I do things that are not allowed by law. But they are enforcing the law, so what they are doing should be lawful, no? Apparently not, because they need to hide their fucking faces. Even now, the, the, the woman beater is in charge. <laughs> he covers his face. I have videos of it where he's going after a woman to beat her. This is why I call him the woman beater. A woman is speaking to him and he takes his stick, his truncheon, and he goes after the, her. And then he looks and he sees the press, because it wasn't just me. Well, everybody from the press flew on it. Uh, and then he covered his face and then he stopped. And then he took the gas mask of another woman, but he quickly covered his face. Why? If what you're doing is lawful, then why are you covering your face? Especially when you're in charge. This I have to say about the woman. 
a week or two weeks ago, they uh, surrounded us and we had to show our ID, IDs, blah, blah, blah. That was her. We had to be searched. That was her doing that. She is wearing a number, so she, she can be identified. She does hide her face too, uh, but she can be identified because she's wearing her number. But uh, a lot of cops aren't. I mean, this is something I look for. Oh, ten buck, dream on. Not one fucking copper has has gone, has been reprimanded for what is happening here in France. Not one. So don't give me that shit. That this the chief decides what is acceptable and what is unacceptable. This is not true. Because there there is unacceptable force being used every fucking week. And they do it week after week after week. And I can even tell you which commissioner is in charge how bad the violence will be. We have four in Toulouse, four different uh, chief commissioners that are in charge for the day. Uh, they wear the France uh, thing. And I can tell you exactly, oh, this one is today, it will be a violent day. Eh. There is no reprimands because they cover the, each other's asses. Uh, do, you, do you even know what happened here in France? How many people have been injured, m mutilated, uh, shot at, lost eyes, hand, hands? <laughs> not one, not one has gone to jail. Not, not even jail, being reprimanded, not even one. They're just covering for each other's ass. Us, it's a gang. In a gang, you do the same. You you cover each other, no? Now nah, most people have gone. I don't think much more will happen. to be honest. Can you hold this for me? I want you to hold a cigarette. Thank you. Just three cops on bikes pass. Uh, 
là, là tu as pas fini, tu envoies les chars. Euh, la population, quand on va en train de se faire un casier, qu'on va pas les chars, on va pas faire un casier. En comparaison, mais il ne faut pas non plus. Non, mais c'est un corps à quoi. Et pourquoi ils seraient Je veux dire, Castaner n'est pas pointé les fingers, est-ce qu'il est Non, même mieux. <laughs> Costanel spreads lies all the time. Look at the hospital story. And the investigative police also doesn't do anything. The, the head of the investigative police, so the police that investigate the police, <laughs> she, said that, uh, the, she said that the police didn't use any violence either. I mean, I have it on video how they beat my fucking ass with three or four of them. And there's a lot of videos like this, you know? Alexandre Langlois? No, I don't know this. What is this? Or maybe I do know and I don't remember it. I called stakes, because they are stakes. They should all be put in jail and tortured. They should. They, they should put them they should put them in the protest getting gas for uh, getting gassed for week after week let's see how they feel then let's see if they think that is it that it, it can be justified because it, it's it can't and I'm not in every city so I'm speaking for Toulouse I am here every week. I really wonder why the police is here because <laughs> these people are not violent, so nothing will happen. I mean, if I know this, then they, after nine months, should know this for sure, no? I'm sort of afraid that if I go, that then they <laughs> attack. <laughs> Thank you. 
There's only six coppers left now. Do you want to go eat something afterwards? Yeah. Yeah. There's six coppers left. I don't think six coppers will attack, no? They can try. Yeah, they can try. <laughs> well, there's not much people. <laughs> we don't you Hello, Stefka. <laughs> ah, yeah. I, hear, I did hear about this guy. I saw something pass, but I don't believe in good cops, so <laughs> sorry. You know, I'm anti police totally. This is how much I am against police. Okay, so let's not go there. It's no use. You can talk among each other about that. I'm not going to. Uh... Sorry, uh... okay, I think I'm gonna stop because I don't think much will happen. Most of the cops left, there's only six cops left, uh, six cops here, the rest is in the air, I'm hungry. Yes, friet met mayonnaise, oh my god. Of gewoon lekker een frikandel speciaal, I miss it. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to go. Uh, I don't think any more will happen. So, uh, yeah, see you all Saturday again. Huh? Oh, yes, yeah, Friday, sorry. Friday, 7 o'clock, French time, we do the interview with Charlie. We'll also show the video from last night, uh, how he got beaten. We have some other videos of him where he was uh, throwing a gas grenade between his legs and shit like that, so we all show that. And, uh, yeah. Friday, 7 o'clock. So, see you then. Cheers all. Thank you for watching and see you soon. I'm going to close it off now. Thank you very much for everything. <laughs>